Okay, so basically what I wanted to show you guys was um, just to do the simultaneous equations on your graphics calculator. Um, the first step you guys need to know is um, you need to rearrange these equations. All right, that's the first thing you got to do. You got to rearrange it so that you have something like this, where you'll have x, y. and a constant like this. Okay? You got to do it like that. So you got to have your x first, your y second, and then your constant at the end. So I'm going to rearrange equation equation 1. So equation 1 is going to be negative 2x plus y equals to 3. So that's equation 1. Equation 2 is going to be negative 2x plus 4y equals to 2. So that's equation 2. And then the third one, rearrange it, I'm going to get 2x plus 6y equals 12. So that's my third equation. Okay, that's step number one. You got to actually rearrange it so that you have your x first, your y second, and then your constant by itself. Now comes the next part, all right? So what you want to do is, I'll write the instructions as we go along. So click on menu, uh, go into equation, and I think it's F1 for simultaneous equations, and number of unknowns is 2, so you're pressing F1 again. And what you guys should see, can you guys see how it's actually written up like that? So you got AX plus BY plus CN. So that's why that's why it's really good to write it in this format. So you write X, the X uh, in your equation, you write X first, then your Y, and you got to put the equal sign and then the constant by itself. So for my, I'm going to do equation 1 and 2 first. So equation 1 and 2, I've got the coefficients, which is negative 2, positive 1, positive 3. Then my second equation, I've got negative 2, 4 as the coefficient of y, and 2 as the last constant. When I solve it, I'm actually going to get my coordinates of where those two lines meet. So for equation 1 and 2, like you guys can see how it's actually given in decimal point, right? But at the corner here, see how it said negative 5 over 3? So the first value is x, the second value is y. So equation, so line 1 and line 2 meets at negative 5 over 3 and the y value is negative 1 over 3. Okay, let me just move that a bit more. Is that going to work? No, the other way. So can you guys see how I did for those two equations? So if I want to do the second one, so I'm going to do equation number 2 and 3. Equation 2 and 3, I've got 2, 6, 12. But I don't need to change the second line because it's already equation 2. So if I solve it, I actually get my second one, which is 9 over 5 and 7 over 5. Is that alright guys? And finally, doing equation 1 and 3. So I just press exit. Equation 1 and 3 is going to be negative 2, 1, 3. So negative 3 over 7. And 15 over 7. Is that okay? So that's how you base... And you can actually use this to get your points if you're trying to do simultaneous equations. Okay? Questions? So yeah, just remember that you got to rearrange it so that whatever the equation you have, you have to rearrange it so that you have x, then y, the equal sign, and then the constant. Right? That should help you guys check with your whether your simultaneous equations you're getting the right answers for it. Okay, yep, I'll show that. So we're done here with this one, right? Cool. So what you have is...
your you know how you got ax plus bx plus cy right oh sorry cn so when we actually the reason we write it like in this format xy and the constant is we actually put the coefficient of x as a so if i was to do i think this one was i did equation three and equation one so if you look at it, we've got 2, 6, and 12. Yep. So that's what I put here, 2, 6, and 12. Okay. In the next line, I think, Sophie, you asked why, what if there's no number in front of y, then you, well, I think she already got that, so I told her. Then that one, you've got to put a 1. So that's why it's negative 2, 1, and 3. Oh. Okay? So you only do it for questions that are formatted like that? Well, you're not going to get the equations, like like this right you're not going to get equation normally you have an equation written like y equals mx plus c right so you got to rearrange it so you have x first as your first term y. y and then equals and then the number by itself if you have a fraction like say if you have something like y equals to um, uh, let's see uh, can I rub this out yeah. Actually, I might do it below. so if you have something like this where you have y equals 3x minus 2 over 4 to bring it into that format, you've got to rearrange everything. So you've got to rearrange this. It will become 4y equals 3x minus 2, and then bring it around negative 3x plus 4y equals 2. So, so then you can see that negative 3 is what the a value would be, 4 is what the b value would be, 2 is what the c value would be. Okay. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. So easy now.